Hey guys, Eric Gorno here with Performance Golf. To my left, Miss Erica Larkin, one of the best golf instructors in the entire world. I'm pumped oh, that we're going to be you. here today. You're welcome. You deserve it. Uh, the True Swing program that Erica put together, I'm going to tell you more about it at the end of this video. You guys are going to absolutely love that. And I'm excited in today's video for us to talk about one of the key concepts that's so important for you to have a solid, consistent golf swing that shows up day in and day out, and that's creating natural extension. Mm. Obviously, in your swing, you might have seen before, maybe you have a little bit of chicken wing action. You struggle to have good arm structure. And we're going to actually show you in today's video how you can allow that natural extension. We're just trying to make that happen. A couple of really cool drills my favorite one at the end that we're going to show you and so Eric if you can hop in here first and I know there's a couple of key concept I've seen you do some content on and with your students about the club head working away from you sort of level to the ground how we need to get that past the golf ball and then at the end how our body works along with it yeah. so if I was coming in and I said hey I'm really struggling Erica with these arms bending I'm putting a lot of effort in I really love to have my arms straighter how would I sort of start that process uh, one, remove some tension for sure, right? And understand that as part of a true swinging motion, that the slack that might live in your elbows and your wrists will come out as momentum is releasing through impact. So mm -hmm. I like to think of it as just this natural outward force, centrifugal force, if you will. A really good way to feel this is if you hold the club up in front of your chest, just at a horizontal, no golf posture, just stand tall, and just make some swings around your spine back and then through, and give it a little bit of speed, use your feet. It might feel a little bit like a baseball swing, that's okay. But I want you to give it enough speed that you feel that outward tug of the club mm -hmm. almost trying to get away from your chest. Now, as that's happening, if you were out of balance, you could almost go with it. So we're, yes. we need to resist away a little bit from that centrifugal force. So as the force is pulling out, we have to keep our distance. Yeah. Gosh, <laughs> if so we important. narrow that, there goes the chicken wing. And obviously we're not going to fall into the ball. We're, we're smarter than that. Right. Hopefully. <laughs> we have some survival instincts <laughs> to stay upright. And so therefore, as we're doing this in golf posture, and we've made that nice, beautiful fall. We've shifted our weight. It's time to release all that stored energy from our back swing through to the target. It's time to basically unleash it, unwind and let it swing out. There's that centrifugal force moving out towards the ball and through to my target. Yes. The down aspect of hitting down on the ball happens because of our posture, not because we have to hit down on anything. I mm. think sometimes that interrupts the pattern of swinging through as we're busy trying to hit down or sometimes for golfers hit up and yes. scoop. So forget the down, forget the up, your body position takes care of that. That mm. automates the angle of attack. It's really well said. Posture automates the angle of attack. All yeah. you have to do is swing and let the forces of momentum and centrifugal force come out through impact. Like to the point where I don't even care if your left arm bends at the top. I actually don't care yeah. because guess what? It straightens out automatically right. through impact if you let it. I love the way you said so many freaking things in there. So if you're doing the level to the ground, if someone's doing that, mm -hmm. um, we're going to talk in a minute about the body sort of resisting that. That's so important. When they're doing that, does it feel like the club head's the farthest away like at the ball we're looking at past the ball yeah, i would the... say it's not quite here which would be ball position it's just a little past ball position past so i don't know if this is six o'clock we say it's i don't know seven or eight o'clock something like that of, yeah, on right. this side of the ball <laughs> and so therefore we're you know trying to get through to a point where we're really seeing that extension happening the root of the target yeah. and not at the ball i always say the ball is not the destination for your swing energy the target is your destination. Mm. It is a through swing. Yeah, I, I, I want to hop in there and try that yep. level to the ground there. I'm dying to feel that. So um, when I'm doing this motion, if they're starting, and I think ironically, Erica, too, not only like would we be okay with them folding and then they're getting back to straight past impact, I think to take it a step farther, too, to feel this, to mm -hmm. get that slack out like you talk about, it may even be easier if they do have the arms folded. If they're yeah, the left arm's could. a little bit bent, yeah. just to be able to get that position back. I'm not saying you got to go crazy with this, but just right. like, you know. Because you, you're not trying to anticipate when the straight moment is happening. You want to let it come out as a response to your body unwinding. Remember, the body mm. is leading the arms, the arms are followers, and the hands are even more followers than the arms. That's why it's a hands-free swing. They're really taking a free ride. 
So okay. let's go ahead and get the body unwinding. Those arms are following you. They're attached to you. They're going to swing out. I promise you. You don't have to force them to find the golf ball. They are on their way there yeah. because of your setup and because of the sequence of this true swing. In fact, I think when we teach players, the players come in to see us and they, the more they try and force their arms straight, sometimes the harder that it is for them versus allowing it. Like even here when I'm doing this drill, I feel like I feel a sense of the club head making a noise and sort of straightening out generally yes. out here. I feel like my chest and my body are leading. And I definitely feel a sense of the club head getting full extension, like out past the ball, right into there. Almost it's, like where you're standing. Yes, yep. And I'm not forcing that exactly. club head away. And Erica, gosh, the body motions. Uh, so like you don't have to try and hit down or hit up. That happens from the posture, it's so good. Many of you watching this who have the arms too folded or too bent on the way through and you struggle with contact are exactly because of what Erica said. A lot of times in trying to hit down, your body not only doesn't resist or kind of head and chest and rib cage work away from the club head, which we'll talk about in the follow through in a moment, you're actually working towards it. And yeah. so like the more my chest and body work down towards the ground. Now you're crowded. There's no place to go. The club is either going to get buried back there right. or the only other option you have after you've lunged down to hit the ball is okay. chicken wing. So chicken wing, when people come to see me, they have chicken wing. Yeah. We, we don't fix the chicken wing and I don't try to make their arms straight. It's like yes. the la that is the result of good things happening before that moment yeah. and unwinding with the right sequence and having balance and being tension free and and letting the arms swing out with a body that is ultimately rotating in balance. Yeah, it's a result of, that's so good. Gosh, I hope you guys are getting that so key. I'm gonna hit one just with that feel. And so as, as I'm doing this down at the ball, Eric, obviously I'm not gonna be like, I'm not necessarily trying to have that right at the ball. As my body's leading, that club head is sort of pulling away, the slack's going out. Yeah, my I want you to put that club head out here out into here, my okay. hands. This is like, a, a, you can essentially almost imagine the golf ball out here, if that helps you. Gotcha. So it's like <laughs> not the really ball. If you're really focused about ball, think about the ball later in More space. More like past impact, yeah. like that. okay. So a couple feet past impact, if anything, yeah. I'm getting that out there. And that's just as a result of my body leading the way. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna feel that same thing, like I had a level to the ground, the slack's going out, the club head's away from me, my body's sort of resisting that slightly. It was the best shot I hit all day. Beautiful balance. Yeah, You're... it felt really easy, and it's that natural extension concept when I was watching some of your videos, it was like, okay, gosh, that's so easy to think about. Okay, I can do this easily here. I feel my sort of tug of war, Yeah. right? And really the relationship right here, can you see how this is almost a 90 degree angle to your spine? Yes. Right, so now just let's think about this. If you just bow down, that relationship has not changed. So yeah. the geometry of the club swinging around you, whether you're standing tall or bowed down in your golf posture is exactly the same. Yeah, I like that. And how about if I do this? Just the same way it's 90 degrees from there. If my body was turned towards the target like it would be, that's still about the same right there. There's your position that you're after. Yes, okay, got it. Very cool. And I'm, I'm definitely, one of the things I see a lot of golfers get wrong when they're doing this, just to reiterate, is the body motion. It's like, if your head and chest and forward are going down with it, like Erica mentioned, you've got nowhere to go but fold. Now watch this. Watch as my head goes up and back, my rib cage goes up and back. Now all of a sudden, it's very easy for me to have my arms lined yeah. up. Yeah, you can play totally a little tug different. of war with me. Yeah, exactly. Pulling my body back. You're getting strong there. <laughs> now, that conceptually, I think, is so good. And I also like you have another feel that I think wraps this up really nicely of where I get my body into on the way through. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do my interpretation. Yeah, if go it's for it. Please tell me. So I'm feeling that through the ball. I'm feeling this natural extension. And then Erica also had another drill where she showed the lead, kind of put the lead hand out mm -hmm. like this. And then I'm trying to get the trail hand there while keeping the head over the ball, is that right? Yeah, exactly. Ish. So we, we don't want to go backwards. We're not trying to get our head to go backwards and we certainly don't want to lunge way forward. So yeah, centered over the ball, I think is a great cue. So you're sort of keeping your centered balance here. Everything's just rotating around the spine. The spine is the axis of the swing. Uh. Remember, there is pressure on the lead side. So if your head creeps you know, an inch forward of the golf ball, okay, no big deal. But we definitely don't want to be inches in front of the golf ball. So I love, I love the way the right hand is meeting the left. Thumbs are up, everything's extended out here. He's got that nice width. Guys, the arms are gonna fold eventually when? 
past this point, right. past this point. It's not that the arms don't fold. I think that's also something with chicken wingers. They like, they think, well, to get rid of it, I have to straighten my arms and then they just have to stay straight forever. So it's to get pretty awkward. Right. Like the yeah. arms are going to fold. It just doesn't happen down here. It happens much later, later past that moment. And that drill that you just did is great because it sets that destination a little later of where we want our energy to go to. So you mm. can do it a little dynamically, you know, you could really get that hand clapping. Yeah. loudly against your other hand as opposed to this being where we're headed mm. we're headed out here this moves the body i have to get the right side of my body to move i can't reach my left hand right now yes unless i get off my right foot and get my chest to rotate Ooh, i cannot reach that if i stay here i cannot you know how i could reach my arm yeah oh yeah. chicken wing <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god so Hello. like get your body moving it's oh, okay it's so good Give yourself Gosh. permission to move. I think that wraps that up. I'm gonna hit one more with that. I think that wraps that up so good where you can do this. It gives you such a good feel of the club head working away like you explained. And then that little cue to get your body motions is so good. I'm gonna just hit one little pure eight iron there again. So I'm feeling look at this. I feel that club head working away from me. My body and nice extension in the follow through. Arms are relaxed. That's another really solid strike. So I need that a little bit more in my swing as evident gorgeous. by those last two. That hey, was really good. Oh, knuckles. <laughs> so guys, this true swing program we're going to show you about in a little bit has way more on things like this and they're all gold. Okay. They're all gold. I want you to check that out, but create natural extension in your swing is key. Allow the arms to straighten. Don't force them, but you gotta let your body lead the way to do it in the first place. Erica Larkin, Eric Gorna. Thank you guys for watching. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's videos. I had a blast doing those with Erica. Like I mentioned, her true swing sequence I think is awesome. I watched all the videos and they were absolutely killer. Not only do you get an unbelievable deal, I mean, 47 bucks for that, come on, but you get unbelievable bonuses as well. That's her on-course program. You get unlimited swing reviews. So Erica and her team can guide you through step-by-step -step this entire process. That's ridiculous. And also her mental game program and live Q&A. And not not only do you get all of that included with the program, you also get a 365 day money back guarantee. So there's literally no risk here for you to try this. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. We're gonna put the link in the first link in the description down below. You won't regret trying it out.